Okay, this is it. I'm finally doing it. Hugely overpacked pack. More stuff than we normally take for all of us in the woods for a day. Up the hill. About 20 minutes or so I should be at the camp. Oh. Start of the year, my first overnight, doing it on my own, so I can cry to myself as much as I like without embarrassment. And uh, if nothing else, if I ever want to do it again, I better get a bit more fit. See you in a bit. Right, got to the day camp. Time to turn it into a night camp. And apart from, ooh, something doesn't look like much has changed since we were last here. Right, time to settle in, get tidy. made it. It's a few hours after I recorded the last bit and there's been an awful lot to do actually. First time I've been up, all sorts of stuff to try and sort out. Filmed none of it. All sorts of bits I've forgotten. Uh, sat on my gloves at the minute, forgot to sit Matt. That was daft. Did you remember my toothbrush? That'll come in handy. Food was delicious. If I try and put this into some sort of video, at least I took some pictures of my food. My little dinner for one was over there. The fire's just keeping us toasty warm. Haven't even needed to put any trousers on yet. So still shorts. <clears throat> Lessons I've already learnt. Don't assume you know anything at all. I strung my hammock up between the two trees that I've strung it up between before. It's a DD front line. Just used the straps last time. The straps that came with it. I uh, got a treat for oh, Christmas, birthday, can't remember, of the whoopee slings and the huggers. You can't tie it as close to the tree with them. <laughs> I, uh, in the morning, I'll see if I can take a couple of pictures of the uh, the solution I had to come up with. But the trees were too wide to wrap it all the way round and round again. And they were too long if you just went around the ones. Ingenuity won out in the end though. So anyway, I'm going to carry on enjoying the peace. And carry on being absolutely delighted I came out. It's chilly, it's not freezing cold. I don't think it's going to get down to freezing tonight. Although, the sky is full of stars. It's beautiful. So it'll probably get a bit chilly. Maybe there'll be a frost in the morning. Which would be good. So, see ya. Morning. It's not actually that early. But uh, it's time to get up. And it just started raining and it's just stopped again. Fortunately, we should dump that torch because it's a bit gloomy in here still. At least on the camera. The uh, camp Whoa. I used my big D D three before and a half, so uh, we're actually well covered. So the fire pit's actually under the edge of it. <clears throat> we just a little bit to get started. 
So, time for me to jump up. See if anything turned up on the camera trap. Pretty much guarantee it didn't, but you've got to try, haven't you? And grab some brekkie. Right, that's the hammock packed up. Apart from I've just realised the um, tree huggers haven't packed them up. And now it's daylight, you can probably see a little bit better what the uh, what it's like. Wouldn't really do if it was bitterly cold. I'd probably need to shut it down a bit, but this is how we normally have it with the uh, when we bring kids up for the day. So we can all get undercover if we need to. And when I knew nothing, when I asked for a Christmas present of a DD tarp, I thought I'd get the biggest one you could, because that's best, isn't it? It is a slightly uh, <laughs> exaggerated setup. We follow this corner. Strings right the way out. Don't know if you can see it all the way. To that tree there and the trees aren't in the right places I guess you uh, do what you can it works though it works camps a bit of a shambles won't be when I leave it'll still obviously be a fire pit in a circle but everything else will be gone and the wood will be tidied up ready for next time we first found this little spot it's somebody else's fire pit don't know whose uh, which isn't just in this beautiful little bit of you know managed woodland the proof that it's managed was we came to explore it because this had happened Not a huge area getting felled, but this had happened. So we came in to have a look, found the trees. It turns out it's absolutely perfect for um, the girls are four and six, so we can come up here, we can have a bite to eat. There's loads of space for them to run around in where we can see what they're doing. There are the old stone walls around a lot of it, which give a really handy boundary. So we we'll love it up here. You probably just heard the phone go though. I'll be just having my breakfast before I set off back. They've probably had theirs. Anyway, see ya. Yay, that's it. On my way home. It's downhill this way. So none of the huffing and puffing of on the way up. That was a good night. Lots of learnt about what to pack and what to pack first so you don't forget it. <laughs> but ate well, slept well, enjoyed the view, enjoyed the peace enjoyed the sound of the birds not sure it was an owl I heard actually pretty sure it was a bird though, I have no idea what I'll have to try and work it out but uh, yeah just about crossed the desolate wasteland of the recently felled and prepared woodland not going to complain, the woods wouldn't be here if someone wasn't looking after them, not, at least not these ones not lucky enough to have some nice deciduous stuff within walking distance of home 
and this is just 20 minutes from home at least it's 20 minutes from home when I'm not lugging all that but yeah a little more practical next time properly enjoyed it now we'll be off who knows if this will ever turn into a video but whether it does or doesn't Chris that's me talking to myself you're gonna be back lad you're definitely gonna be back who knows who you're gonna bring with you but you're gonna be back If anybody ever did watch this, how on earth did you find it? <laughs> but beyond that, thanks. I'll see you.